What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video after we learn how to create a detailing for our detail view. This time around, we're going to put some annotation for our detailing. Okay, so let's get this started. All right, so it's just simply placing a uh, text or placing some text. Okay, so to do that, so let's just go to the annotate. So let's finalize our detail view. So I'm going to select here the text. You can actually select the text here as well on our um, quick access toolbar. Or you can type TX. Just click that. And then here, so there's a leader icon or leader uh, panel wherein you can select the options here if you want to put one segment, curved, or uh, two segments. So for this one, I'm going to select uh, two segments and then you can check out the properties here of the text that you are going to use. So I'm going to use the default here, the 3 over 32 inch uh, aerial and then I also have here 1 fourth inch and then schedule default. So I'll try this one and then I use this and then you can also specify here what will going to be the alignment of your text. Okay, so for let's say for example, this is my gypsum board. So I'm going to click here. So that's my gypsum board. And then I kind of like it to place it here on my right side. So I'm going to pick here for my, uh, my first leader and then click another point here for my second leader. Okay, and then I'm going to type here one half inch uh, gypsum board. And then I'll just click outside. And then you will sometimes encounter this uh, warning. It says, none of the created elements are visible in the detail view. Detail at grade view. You may want to check the active view, its parameters, and visibility settings. Now, the only issue here is the boundary, the annotation uh, crop uh, boundary. Now, for us to be able to show the text that we have placed here, so I'm going to select here, modify. And then if I click here, the annotation crop, boundary as you can see there's also the dotted line okay so this is your annotation crop boundary so any text that will touch this one it will gonna be cropped out or it will gonna be hidden to your view okay so make sure all the text that you are going to put here in your view it's completely inside this annotation crop otherwise if that text is outside you will not be able to see that unless, which is what we're going to do, unless we control the annotation crop boundary like that. Okay? So make sure your annotation is completely inside the annotation crop because if that touches our annotation crop, it will going to be cropped out. Okay? Or if that is outside the annotation crop, it will going to be cropped out. Okay? Or hidden automatically. Right, so let me just adjust this one, okay. And how about I use the other type of text here, the one for it, okay. And then let's uh, move. Is it too big? Yeah, I think this one is too big, so I'll just select and change that to 3 over 32. Let me just adjust this, okay. You can move that text. Can I just here? There you go. Okay, so let's continue adding some annotation here. So I'm going to just copy this, select, copy. I'll just put one here. So I'm going to call this, uh, what's this? Uh, Bay for barrier. Click outside. And then, of course, we need to edit this arrow. So that's the barrier. <clears throat> Alright, so let's copy that again. So this will going to be my 8 inches concrete block. Ground course solid and reinforcing per structural okay and then just click outside so for this one i'm going to select the boundary here to adjust it 
yeah something like that okay right and then i'm just going to continue add the annotation so for this one the arrow should be this one here so four inches rigid insulation with acrylic finish okay so for on my standard I always put all the leader line at the top part of your text okay so upper left or upper right if that is pointing to this side and then the justification if it is pointing to the left side so the ju the justification will gonna be left align so if it is pointing to the right side so I use this one right align okay so just to tidy up my my annotation okay so I'll select this one and then I'll just put it here so let's copy this so this is my air infiltration barrier which is this area here and also avoid some overlapping of your uh, annotation okay so make sure it's nice and easier to understand and there you go so after i place all the annotation so this is now our uh, detail view and the detail annotation so the next thing that i'm gonna do here is i don't need this boundary here our annotation crop boundaries so that's why i'm just gonna hide it here this one the crop region visible so you just need to uncheck that to hide the boundary and there you have it so that's how you put an annotation to your detail view so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day